are you doing? No, really, how are you doing? We all go through challenges in life. There are a growing number of wellness practitioners in the Upper Peninsula doing their part to help others find balance and healing. Local 3's Ben Raymond shows us how one woman is expanding her offerings. Inside Marquette's former City Hall on Washington Street, up on the fifth floor, you'll find an oasis of tranquility. I have been given the blessing from my teacher in Phoenix, who's a curandera, which is a Mexican traditional medicine woman. Uh, she has given me her blessing to start offering some services to the community up here, which I'm very excited about. Those offerings, one is called a Platica and Olympia, and Platica, um, I guess how you could roughly translate it or how folks um, kind of explain it is that it's a heart straightening session or a heart to heart talk. And it's where uh, the practitioner holds space for a community member to come in and just really let out what they've been holding in their heart. And with Olympia, which is a form of auric cleansing, I guess, is a um, rough translation of it. Um, and that is a practice where we work with the four elements, some sacred plants, sacred items, and we just help kind of brush everything off the person after they've just had this big release. When I first met Kaya Lewis back in October, she shared her journey of cultural discovery and her family's history with traditional medicine. I don't really have words of the gratitude for my uh, maestra, for my teacher, uh, helping bring this lineage uh, back into my family and um, being able to bring that to my community feels really amazing and um, a big honor to hold that space for folks. Her focus on wellness takes on a variety of practices to meet people where they are in life. The other two newer services that I'm offering, uh, one I'm calling the Sacred Spiral, and that's more uh, focused for folks who have wombs. So uh, with those, it's a uh, mini platica. We do Olympia, but it's really focused around womb care um, and just different practices around that and what folks can do to just uh, support themselves. Um, and then the other one that I'm offering which uh, several community members have reached out over the last few years asking about this. Um, I'm calling it the sacred walk guidance or coaching. And um, that one is really special because there are many folks I've met up here that want to take their practices deeper. That practice specifically um, is more of a guidance session and coaching a little bit and just offering, um, you know, teachings and wisdoms that were shared with me by my teachers and my elders. Lewis says her goal is to make wellness accessible to everyone. The wellness space is really not a one and done. Um, and how how she likened it was, you know, you're kind of going in for maintenance. And what I share with folks sometimes is just like you go in for an oil change, we also need our own form of oil change. <laughs> you know, we need uh, some seasonal care. I usually recommend folks at least getting, you know, a seasonal tune-up. Um, and you don't have to be in dire straits to need these services. It's uh, preventative as well. And uh, sometimes you just need a little pick-me-up or sometimes you just need someone to listen, you know, and then you can be on your way. And um, the goal is to just help folks feel empowered and in charge of their own journey. With a new place to practice, an updated website, and more events on the calendar, Lewis wants to share her knowledge or at least connect others to resources in the community. Sometimes we just need a little assistance. Um, a yoga teacher that I once went to for a workshop, she said it perfectly. I'm not here to be the sage on the stage, I'm your guide on the side. And that resonated really deeply with me and that's the approach that I try to bring as well.